Little Big is a Russian synth pop group that went viral with some very unique and funky dance moves and even more interesting and intriguing backstory. What's up, Insomniacs? While you're still up, let's take a quick look at one of the craziest music groups out there today. Clocking in at over 7 million subscribers and a mind-blowing 3.5 billion views, tonight we're diving into the controversial rise of Little Big. Thanks to the internet, growing an audience is now easier than ever. 30 years ago, Russian music was not popular in the Western world at all. Still, nowadays, musicians can distribute their music through social media and build a massive fan base in the process. The Electro Rave Band was founded in 2013 in St. Petersburg by Ilya Ilyich Prusikin and Alina Pasok. I'm sorry, I'm definitely going to butcher a lot of the names in this video, but I'll try my best. The name Little Big comes from the first year of the band's existence, when it consisted of vocalist and co-founder Elich, DJ Sergei Gok Makarov, and two female vocalists with dwarfism, Anna Kast and Olympia Ivleva, as well as co-founder and director Alina Pasok. The name they picked was an inside joke about the original band members and their height differences. Their first ever music video, Every Day I'm Drinking, was uploaded in 2013 and was made solely as an April Fool's joke. The video features electro rave, dancing, little people, creepy clowns, vodka drinking, duh, run down buildings, and a bear getting boinked. Think of every negative stereotype you've ever heard about Russia condensed into a single music video. In an interview with Vice, Elich stated, it's satire, but the song deals with all these Hollywood stereotypes of Russians. The scary clowns represent the old problems of Russia. However, after the video's release, the band's trajectory shifted when they found themselves with an unexpected fan base. Fame hit them quickly. As soon as they released their first music video, and only one month after, they were asked to be the opening act for the South African duo Die Antwoord. Actually, you say I'm Die Antwoord. Die Antwoord. Die Antwoord. Congratulations. Many parallels between Little Big and Die Antwoord can be drawn. The similarities in their quote-unquote trashy styles are undeniable. Both use visual shock tactics, people with unusual appearances, and naughty language in their music videos. They often combine their native languages with English throughout their songs and catalogs. Watching recent interviews with Little Big members Ilich Prusikin and Sonia Tayurskaya is jarring in a completely different way. While you can still see their alternative style, they appear oddly normal. They're quirky and much more put together than other bands that do this type of musical mockery while still addressing serious topics. Whereas Ninja and Yolandi Visser are primarily in their Zeph clothing, trying to emulate gang culture for interviews and videos. It's hard to tell how much is a persona and how much is genuinely them. In an interview with Vice, Elich and Olympia were asked what they thought about being compared with Deant Ward. Olympia stated her love and respect for Deant Ward Still, she felt like they approached music and their ideas differently. They indicated that they were inspired by Cannibal Corpse, Nirvana, Deant Ward, Rammstein, and even Mozart and Vivaldi. Their music and videos border on the absurd, but often address political and societal commentary in the underlying imagery. Each music video is handled by a different production house. However, the directors always stay the same, with Ilya Prusikin and Alina Pasok taking the reins. This is where the secret member of Little Big comes in. Alina Pasok is a director from Los Angeles who works solely on bringing the absurdity that is Little Big's music videos to life. The current members are Ilya Ilyich Prusikin, the singer and frontman from 2013 to now. The other is Sonia Tayurskaya, who does vocals. Former members are Anna Kast, Olympia Ivleva, Sergei Gok Makarov, and Anton Bu Lissoff. Anna Kast, or Anna Castellanos, exited the band in 2014 due to artistic differences and her desire to return to work as a kindergarten teacher. Anna leaving marked a turning point, ushering two fresh personas into the band's lineup. Anton Bu, later Tony, was recruited as the guitarist and vocal support, and Sofia Sonia Tayurskaya stepped into the vocalist role. Anton was Sergei's co-band mate from Jane Eyre, another band that they had together. 
In almost every music video for Little Big, Anton is wearing black lipstick over and around his mouth, reminiscent of clown makeup. While Sonia Tayurskaya first joined the band in 2014 as a songwriter, she made her first appearance as a part of Little Big with their video with Russia From Love. She's performed on stage with them since 2016. In April 2018, Olympia Ivleva also chose to leave the band. Burnout and intention to start her own business is the reason why she left. Tragically, in 2021, the former group member Anna Kast was confirmed dead on social media in St. Petersburg. She was 38 then and had initially gained popularity partly thanks to her unique appearance. Her height was only 51.18 inches, leading to fans nicknaming her Little Happiness. In 2022, the remaining members of Little Big, Ilich Prusikin, Sonia Tayurskaya, and director Alina Piazak, moved to Los Angeles in opposition to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. They have four official albums, five mini albums, and 14 singles. Little Big began writing their records in 2013, releasing their debut album with Russia From Love in March 2014. They released their second album, Funeral Rave, in December 2015. In May 2018, Little Big released part one of their third album, Anti-Positive, along with a music video for their song, Punk's Not Dead. Later that year, in October, the band dropped part two of the album Anti-Positive and the video that launched them into internet fame, Ski Beatty. Which song of theirs is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Unless you've lived under a rock, you've definitely heard or seen their hit song and its viral video. When watching the Ski Beatty music video for the first time, you may ask yourself, what the Russia? Perhaps if you're a slightly more seasoned internet veteran or Reddit dweller, you'd understand the fever dream that you're experiencing. In 2018, their song Ski Biddy was released along with their album Anti-Positive at 2. The song debuted at number one on top radio and YouTube hits. However, the music video going viral catapulted Little Big into the eyes of the online world, making the song an instant sensation. At first, it sounds like nonsense. Like many viral videos, it doesn't make sense. But maybe that's exactly what has drawn close to 1 billion people to watch the video. So what does Skibidi actually mean? Adding to the absurdity, the song's name, Skibidi, in Russian means absolutely nothing. The music video shows the band's trademark editing style and dance. The dance is portrayed as obedient, very mechanic, or puppet-like. Ironically, the song is about going against the norms. The dance is always present, with many characters appearing throughout, doing the same moves, this creates a very absurd and silly feeling like they're mocking conformity instead. So then, what's the appeal? Non-conformity. In a time when people seek authenticity from celebrities and influencers, Little Big may be what you're looking for. While they may not be everyone's cup of tea or a shot of vodka, there's definitely something undeniably hypnotic about their music and videos. Ilich Prusikin says, We just want to show people that they own their lives. Countries and governments are not as important as they think. They have the power to do what they want. In 2019, Little Big faced controversy after their music video for the single Tacos was accused of cultural appropriation. However, the song appears to be about food stereotypes from different countries, entirely on brand for Little Big. The video is another colorful and bizarre production that we've come to expect from Little Big. Despite the backlash, the video is still up on YouTube and has over 196 million views at the time of this recording. Their anti-war sentiment led the current band members to leave their home country less than a week after Russia invaded Ukraine. Now in self-exile in Los Angeles, they released a song and video criticizing the war aimed directly at the government called Generation Cancellation. Soldiers are moved like pieces on a chessboard, propaganda streaming from the TV down sewage pipes into viewers' brains. A man in a suit pushes a button with the word cancel on it. I think that says all that it needs to. As of this recording, the video has gained over 17 million views. In a press release announcing the song, the band openly condemned the actions of the Russian government and voiced their disgust with war propaganda. Prusikin said they were accused of being traitors almost immediately, They've turned their frustration into writing new music and planning tours around the US and Europe. They are also planning charitable concerts in support of Ukrainian refugees in August 2022. 
The band had planned a tour in Russia that fall, but they had to cancel it. Prusikin said their anti-war stance got them blacklisted as performers in Russia and cost them advertising contracts. However, this could not be independently verified. Little Big is still going strong and has announced plans to release new music. Their catchy songs and absolute mind-bending music videos have won them fans from across the world as they continue to entertain while poking fun at stereotypes. Do you think Little Big are self-aware comedic geniuses or just insensitive clout chasers? How do you feel about their music? Is it all nonsense or is there a deeper meaning? So far, they seem to be on the right track. Either way, their music videos are works of art and their songs are catchy and fun. I just wish I could dance.